At least eight Afghans and a foreigner were killed during an overnight Taliban attack at the Intercontinental in the Afghan capital, Kabul. Nine Taliban militants, armed with rocket-propelled grenades and other weapons, stormed the heavily guarded Intercontinental, frequented by Westerners and VIPs. NATO helicopters were called in to kill three militants at the rooftop to end a five-hour clash. Mohammed Haroun, a worker at the Intercontinental, said he believed more people were killed in the attack more than the announced figures. All of our colleagues were in the hotel during the night, and it's not clear how many people were killed. But I think that more of our colleagues could have been killed. The attack is the latest violent insurgent since NATO announced that security transition to Afghan authorities would begin in seven provinces, starting from July 21st. The announcement raised concerns regarding the Afghan security forces and their ability to take over. But Ashraf Ghani Ahmed Zai, the head of the transition commission, said the handover would go on. The transition process will be successful in every way. Our enemies must know that they are not able to stop us in this way. This country is ready to sacrifice more if needed in order to stand on its own feet. The attack which showed that Taliban still retains the ability to strike at will comes a week after U.S. President Barack Obama announced plans for an initial withdrawal of 10,000 American troops from Afghanistan by the end of this year, with another 23,000 by the end of 2012. Nadia Drisman, Al-Arabiya.